Hello! The purpose of this video is to show you how to set up your blog in the course. First, let me just explain why we are using a blog. The blog is an instructional resource that makes sense for us to use in support of our exploration of issues in education. Let me look at the the course plan very quickly to remind you that during our seven sessions this semester, if you look on the left here, you will see we have seven sessions. Most of the sessions are two weeks long. During most of these sessions, we have a blog post that we that you guys will be writing as a result of reading various materials and interacting with online videos and other things. Um, so each module, or should I say session, you will be writing one blog post from sessions one through session six. At the end of session six, you are finished with this this project, but you can see that in order to write six blog posts, you will need to create one blog, and then on that one blog, you will need to also create six separate blog post entries. So in this video that I'm about to show you, you're not going to worry about what it is that you're blogging about right now. Right now we are only focusing on setting up the technical aspect of it. That is, we're going to create and title a blog and then we are going to also create six blog post names. And I want you to understand that you can change any of this after you have done it. So let's go ahead and get things mapped out now and then if you want to improvise and change things, make things more unique for example, you can certainly do that. Let me go ahead and go over what it is I'm going to show you in this video and the reason I am speaking so sort of clearly almost to the point that it sounds funny is that I am trying to get YouTube's closed captioning to work properly for this video so that my course is ADA compliant. Okay, so let us look at what it is we're going to do in this video. I will show you how to initiate your blogger account, how to change your blogging name to something else, how to create and title a blog, and my recommendation will be that you just call it your first name plus EDUC blog if you have nothing else to think of for your blog. Now that is not the most creative name but again for the sake of getting this done we don't worry about that creativity piece at least not today. If you want to change the name of your blog again you can do that in a few days if some great name occurs to you. Then we'll talk about how to create and title your six blog posts and I've also come up with some rather uninspired but really useful and appropriately descriptive titles for those blog posts. So the session one blog post should probably just be called session one colon USA versus world. The session two blog post can be called session two colon big picture in US education and so on. And when you get to that blog post, when you come to do that blog post in a few weeks, you can always change the title. You could always even delete these posts and, re and create new ones instead. Another thing I'll try to do is show you how to link to other resources on other websites. What I mean by that is once you have created a blog post, how do you actually link out to other things on it? It could be that you already know how to do that, but I will be showing you how to do that today. I will also model how to submit your blog link to the survey form at this link. Why do I want you to do that? Well, I want to have a list of everybody's blog addresses available to me. Now keep in mind that if you end up, let's say you title your blog like this today, 
but in three days you change the name of your blog to something else. Well, that will change the web address of it, so you'll need to resubmit the link if for some reason you later change the address of your blog. Please have your blog name decided by the end of session one. That means please have it decided within the first two weeks of class and don't change it again after this session, okay? I can handle a little bit of fluctuation, but then we need to get stable and move on into the class. Okay, so the last thing I will talk about is how to change your blogging name and deal with privacy settings. There's a link here that you can access that uh, should take you to information about your privacy. Um, on Blogger you are able to choose whether or not to share any information about who you are. You can blog with absolutely no personal information available to the reader and if that is what you are comfortable with then that is what you should do. Um, you could also, if you're completely uncomfortable with using your current Gmail identity for this project, then I would recommend that you create a new Google account that is completely anonymous and that is acceptable for this class. If you have any questions about this, if this is at all uh, of concern to you, please contact me and I will help you to come up with a solution. Okay, so let's get started. Let's talk about initiating our Blogger account. Now this step assumes that you already have a Google account. Everybody does have a Google account, by the way, because at the University of West Georgia, we use Google. So the email account that you use, as you probably know, is a Google account. And for most of you, you should be able to use Blogger just fine. I did find in the spring of 2014, however, that about two people out of 60 did not, they had trouble initiating their blogger account using their University of West Georgia account. If you hit a wall with this, then I suggest you immediately call ITS and they can help you to figure out the problem, hopefully. Another workaround if you have a problem initiating your blogger account using your University of West Georgia credentials is to just go ahead, like I said, and create a new Google account. Um, it's always handy to have an extra email address for other things anyway, so if you don't have some spare Google account that, that you can use, then maybe just go create a new one. If you just go to google.com and you, uh, you can create a new account. Okay, so let's go ahead and initiate our blogger account. I'm going to log in. I'm just going to go through gmail.com. I'm going to go through that familiar portal to show you how how this can be done. I'll go ahead and log out of this account because I'm going to use a different Google account for this demonstration. See I have a lot as you can see. I even have other students logins here. I mean I don't think that these would not log in for them, by the way. I don't have their information saved on my computer, but they have logged into my computer before. All right, so I'm going to add an account. I'm not going to remember the password. Okay, I am logged into my Gmail, so this is a familiar place for a lot of you probably. And then an easy way to get to Blogger from here, once you are logged in to your Google account through Gmail, is to click this Apps Grid and then scroll down. And it could be when you come here, you only have these nine things and you just click a button that says like more apps down here. But surprisingly, I see they've put the blogger app on that first page of the apps grid. Sometimes it does not display that way. So just you have to poke around and go deeper if you don't see this. But again, from here, click blogger. And that takes us, okay, so what it is asking me to do is re-enter my password. You may experience the same thing. Uh, 
OK. I do not want it to remember my password. It wants me to confirm my profile. And while we are here, let us talk about privacy. Because on the web, I would say it's good to try to maintain some sense of privacy. So it says right now that I will be seen as Willow Hewitt. I can view my complete profile here, but perhaps I prefer to post under a different name. So I can switch to a limited blogger profile. I'm going to go ahead and do this right now in front of you. And I'm going to come up with a pseudonym. I'm blanking out. I'll just call myself Maria F. Okay, and now I'm going to continue to blogger. So this way, anybody that reads my blogs, the only thing they're going to know about me is that my name is Maria F. And I'm going to, well, before we do anything else in blogger, let's finish the job of talking about our privacy. To go and double check your privacy settings, or let's say your profile settings, go into the upper right hand corner to your profile. Do the drop down and go look at your blogger profile. So this is what people know about Maria F. Maria F's name is Maria F. And Maria F has been on Blogger since August 2014 and has had one profile view and that is all that is known about Maria F. So be thoughtful about what it is you want to share with the world and then decide how you want to set it up and make sure you set it up appropriately. That way, you know, you can work in this class, you can protect your privacy, and you know, you don't have any problems arising from issues related to your privacy. Okay, and you can even have a fake name, a pseudonym in my class. Just kind of try to keep me in the loop about what that name is. Okay, just so I stay on track, let me go back and look here now. Okay, so we have initiated our blogger account and we have uh, changed our blogging name to something else. Now let's create and title our blog. I recommend again that you call it your first name plus EDUC blog. That's because that's easy. Okay, before we do that, let's talk about what it is we're looking at when we go to blogger.com. What we're looking at here is your dashboard. And you can poke around and check out your dashboard. But what this area is all about is it will show you the names of all of the blogs that you are owner on or that you are author on. So these are all of Maria F's blogs that will be showing here. Right now Maria F has zero blogs which is why you do not see any blogs here. But as we create blogs, you will see them populate here in this list, and you can create more than one. For example, let's go look at, at my personal uh, blogger area, just so you see. So we're going to go look at Kim's dashboard, different login, and you see that I've got one, two, three, four, five different blogs that I am writing on. They have unique names, like this blog is called Two Online Teachers. This blog is called Build Your World, You Code at UWG. This one's called Kim's Tool Portfolio, etc. So what I want you to think about is that a blog is like a newspaper, like the Corpus Christi Caller Times, and the, the title of that blog stays the same. But within that blog, there are posts, and these posts have different titles depending on what their topic is. Okay, so we've got three posts here. They have uh, different titles and we'll talk about that more in just a second. Okay, so let's create the blog now. The way you do that is you click new blog. You give it a title. Again, this is how I'm recommending you do it. Maria's EDUC 2110 blog. Again, that's a slightly dull title, but for lack of something more interesting, that is what I offer you. You are welcome to title your blog however you want. Just keep in mind that you want to keep it professional because this is 
a class that prepares you to this part is in part preparing you to enter the profession of teaching or speech language pathology and so you want to behave like a professional online all right so keep it professional but it can be silly it can be quirky it can be creative or a little bit off the wall so don't feel worried don't be worried about that just don't you know put a cuss word in it that's all I mean by professional all right so the address I'm Again, very uninspired. The name, the address to this blog is Maria Educk 2110.blogspot.com. This blog address is available, and now I can choose what I want my blog to look like. I will just go with the ethereal template for now. Again, this is something that I can change later. Remember, see how it says here? You can customize your blog later. All right, I'm going to click Create Blog. All right, so there it is. It is now here. Remember, where this is my dashboard that shows me all of my blogs. Just to be a little bit confusing, I'll quickly show you how I can create another blog very just as quickly. Now let's pretend that Maria, who owns this blog, is into roller derby. So she wants to create a blog for her audience that is all about roller derby in Atlanta. Now this is another sort of boring title and she will fix that title later when she comes up with a better name. All right, rollerderbyatlanta.blogspot.com is available and she likes this black uh, template. It looks really cool and so that's what she will pick and now create blog. So what I'm trying to show you is that you can go through the process today of quickly making a blog and then you can actually create a different one by a different name if you if you want to do that, if that's easier than maybe changing the first one you made. All right, so now Maria has two, two blogs. It gives you this helpful message here. I'm going to dismiss that, dismiss that. Okay, we see we have two separate blogs. Now in this class, in EDUC 2110, you only need to ever post on one blog, okay? So you only you have to pick one of these. Like you would never create a second one like I like I just did for this class. For this class again, only create one. There was a little confusion in spring. Some folks made new blogs, but you only do that one time for our class. Okay? In fact, just to keep it really clear, I am going to well, I'm not going to delete the roller derby one, but you get my point. You only need one blog. Within this blog, you'll create the six posts. So let's see how that's done now. So let's go into this blog. We're going to leave this main sort of entryway to the dashboard of all of my blogs. We're going to go into the one for this class now by clicking the title. Okay, so now we're looking at sort of the dashboard for this blog. Remember, a blog is like a newspaper. So let's go ahead and create our six posts now in advance and then later in the semester it will be pretty easy for you to just come in and come right into your posts. The posts will already be created for you in advance. That is something I like to help you guys do is create things in advance so that you don't have to think about it again in March for example. Okay so how do we create a post? Now remember we want six posts, so here's how we do it. We click posts and we could have also clicked new post previously, but anytime you click posts this will show you your whole list of posts and there's usually multiple ways to create a new post. For example, if I click this pencil I can create a new post. If I click this button I can create a new post. If I click create a new post. I can create a new post. So let's let's just choose one of these methods to do it. Alright, I clicked that. Now we want to give our post a title. So let me go back and steal from what I already had. Okay, so post one, let's call it session one US versus the world. I'm copying that and now I'm going back to my blog 
and I'm going to give it that title and I am going to you can even publish it early if you want but you have to just remember to publish it again later in fact let's just do that just click publish but if you don't want to publish it if you don't want it public yet you can just click save I'm going to go ahead and publish it as well okay so now we're back on the dashboard now we're on the inside of your blog this is not what your blog looks like to the rest of the world let's go look very quickly at what your blog looks like we can do that by clicking view blog and notice now that we have a different address let me go back a second this is where we were we were inside of your blog at blogger.com slash all this unique crazy stuff um, this unique URL full of numbers and things but now when we're actually viewing your blog this is the this is the URL or the web address to your blog Maria educk 2010blogspotcom remember when I set that up so here's the post that I just created session one USA versus world um, there's nothing written yet because we have not written anything yet now remember how I told you there are many ways to post on your blog well you could even edit your post from your actual the outside of your blog the outside that other people see by clicking this and it will take you back to the inside where you can edit your blog okay so let me go quickly create all five other session posts as a model as an example I click new post I'm going to copy the title here come back here and I'm going to publish it okay new post I'm going to copy the session 3 title and I'm going to paste it here okay let us get the session 4 title copy okay back on my blog new post paste the title into the post title and publish now I'm going to click new post we're going to put in the session 5 title I copy it and I paste it into my blog post field for the title and finally the session 6 name or title I copy and I go to new post and I paste that and I publish that okay so now Maria has six published blog posts and this is what you're going to have to create this semester you're going to have these six posts now on each of these pages you will be providing the responses to these session blog assignments okay you will also after you've created your blog post this is just a little extra information but after you do that you're going to share the link to this post on the Google community okay so let us go in and look in more detail at a post I'm going to create a fake post and I'm going to make sure I show you how to hyperlink out to other things before I do that I'm going to also check and make sure I'm keeping on track with what I said I would show you we created and titled our blog we created and titled six blog posts um, I'm going to show you how to link out to other resources on other websites from your blog post and then we are going to submit our blog link to the survey form at this link and then I've already shown you how to change your blogging name and deal with privacy settings okay so let us go and get some fake verbiage I'm going to copy this verbiage
and I am going to go back to actually I'll put it in a few blog posts so I'm going to edit this blog post I can click this and I can paste here alright now I'm going to add something for more information visit the University of West Georgia website okay so what I wanted to show you very quickly is how to link out because a blog is made richer by your linking to materials on the web that can add more information to what you're talking about that might be useful for you when you are referencing something you found on the web related to the topic under study so I've highlighted University of West Georgia I can go to link and I want to link to a web address in this field I need to tell what URL this link should go to so I can type it or I can paste it if I've copied it I can even click test this link and it worked I can also tell it to open the link in a new window so that the reader does not leave my blog page they it will open a new window so that they can have both the blog page and the resource together sort of you know on two different pages so I will click OK and that is how you link on a blog post you can also add a picture and um, that's pretty easy you use insert image and there's a number of other um, tools here that you can play with so you can definitely make your blog interesting you can insert a video um, just make sure that you cite your sources appropriately I'm going to copy this information I'm going to update this blog post by clicking update and I am going to paste this onto my blog posts so that you can see what the blog should kind of look like after you have written on it so while you were on pause I pasted that fake verbiage into each of these blog posts do remember that when you come and do this you are not pasting fake verbiage in you are actually writing intelligent um, well studied well prepared responses to the prompts for each session okay so remember we are on the inside of our blog but this is not what the world sees to see what the world sees we need a different blogging address for example it is definitely not blogger.com and all the, all of this mess it is what you decided when you first set up that blog maria educ 2110.blogspot.com in this case in your case it will be something different so make sure anytime you turn in you share your blog with the class that it starts with the name that you gave it that looks more like this your this piece will be individualized for each of you um, also be aware that when you submit your blog you're going to share each of these blog posts so you're going to share them that's a total of six times throughout the semester I would like for you to actually share the direct link to the blog post for example during session one you're going to write about USA in the in the international stage of education rather than submitting this top link to your blog which forces people to go find your post take us directly to that post and how you do that is you click on the name of the post and notice here now we've got not only have we got our blog address but we also have the specific site of this one blog post so this is what you're going to share with us that is the best way to do it share the specific name of the blog post and the you know the specific address to it and to bring you full circle I'm almost finished talking to you guys to bring you full circle here's where you're going to place the here's where you're going to share the blog post we have a private Google community that you will join you will have joined 
during the first session, during the first two weeks of class. And you will be logged in and you can paste your post. And I do want you to promote it with a maybe a, a one sentence trying to get us to come in and read your post. But um, you can share the post and then that will allow others in our class to um, comment on what you've written. So that will allow us to click on this and go directly to your blog post. Then we can comment on what we read on your blog post here inside of the Google community. And so that is to bring it full circle. That is how we're linking the blogging that you do out on the World Wide Web and bringing it back into this private space where we can see one another's blog posts. I will end this video now. Please email me or even better yet, post any questions that you have about this to the course questions and answers board. Thank you so much.